Welcome to the channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the last week, I spent about 10 days sharing four uh, videos in Chinese. So this video has part one, part two, part three, part four in Chinese. Uh, the total time is about seven hours, seven hours of uh, historical and scientific evidence. The first part I share on uh, the culture. The second is history. The third is the root of Wing Chun. The fourth is the uh, science. So the title of this TV, uh, this uh, YouTube series is called uh, Wing Chun's Past, Present and Future. Now, the reason I make this YouTube is so that people who really serious in learning Wing Chun know what is going on. This is very important now. As uh, in the history part, I mentioned that Wing Chun actually is looked down by many people. Some is just showing it explicitly, some saying it behind the closed door. Okay. And uh, as for the root of Wing Chun, what the Wing Chun we see today is evolved from uh, 1870s. It is actually uh, have a gap with the 1850s Wing Chun in the red book. The, 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 uh, the real group, which is anti-Qing. 1870s and above Wing Chun, there is no evidence that they are real anti-Qing like in the 1850s. And things get evolved. So what you see, 99.99% of Wing Chun today is evolved and creations after 1870. That's where Tai Fa Ming Gam exists. People like Feng Xiu Cheng and uh, all this evolved. So if you can look at that, you know, like I present over in that four part series, the first is the uh, 18. 70s, those like, like the Tai Fa Ming Gam, his teaching. And then in the uh, 1920 something, there's another evolution. 1960, there's evolution. But whatever evolution since the one which is evolved since 1870s do not have what is the teaching in the uh, 1850. For example, there is no breeding in this past 130 years or past 150 years since 1850s, at least in today's, up to today's, there's no data support that. And none of this practitioner support the practice of the internal practicing the, the breath. Okay. So there's a reality. So it's not blaming anybody, but this is the reality. Now, one thing which is 
lead me to share with you today is because somebody saying that my one of the my friends this morning uh, share with me that hey you know uh, Wing Chun is claimed to be uh, from Shaolin, but there's no evidence that uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin because people still cannot find uh, the Shaolin temple in the Fujian. Well, I'd like to share with the entire world today, like I shared yesterday and I shared in Asia. Are you guys out of your mind keeping talking about that Fujian, Shaolin, Mui, and Ji Sim? Where 100 years ago, Tang Hao, the Chinese, traditional Chinese martial art historian, already pointed out, black and white, write it out. Those Mui Ji Sims and the Fujian Shaolin, those Shaolin stuff is what? It's from fictions. So it is like uh, you talk about this, this Mui and Ji Sim stuff is like what? It's like uh, you talk about the uh, Gotham City. Say your, uh, your Mui or Jisim is uh, equivalent to Batman or Robins. So are you serious? When you talk about, oh, there is no evidence that you can find that Wing Chun is from Shaolin, uh, that the people cannot find the uh, they agree upon the uh, the uh, Fujian Shaolin. Then I ask you a question: Can you agree on what? Where is Gotham City? Or can you agree with uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, Wing Chun the creations of Batman or creations of Robins or Catwoman? What the entire thing is completely out of the mind. So we have a choice today. We want to be a real Wing Chuner or we want to be a fantasy idiot. There's a reason why it was looked down. Wing Chun is looked down. Like there's a gentleman, a martial artist and historian in, in Fatsan asking me, so what besides making movies to, to, to image laundering, what does Wing Chun contribute to the people of Canton in the history? Well, it is a really serious problem. That means people, this is also an evidence that people have no idea what is Wing Chun is. What is all this Ji Sim, Mui, Red Boats, Fujian Shaolin story is what? It's a made up of since 1870. And in fact, they don't even know. How does that connect to the 1850? That's why when I tell the, 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 the uh, martial artists and the, uh, the, the historian that I'm going to go find it. He said, why have find it? I said, because Lima now and all those who die for the people is our ancestor Wing Chun. Then he said, oh, are you serious? So I show him the salutations and explain why well, he's a historian. You cannot bullshit him. Okay. Then he said, in this case, then I have to look at Wing Chun in a different way. So, so, so what, what Shaolin? What, what Shaolin? Fujian Shaolin? Are you out of your mind? When the reality is this. When the reality is this. Chi Chi Kuang to Shaolin Short Strike, Shaolin Short Strike to the Wing Chun 1850. And you have the Vipassana. It is Buddhist, it's because it's using Vipassana, it's using the Samatha practice, be it from Shaolin or from Ermei, those are all Buddhist stuff. So, when one talk about Shaolin, Taoist, Buddhist, you know what, one makes sure, need to make sure that one know what is one talking about. 
Sorry, Buddhist teaching is not philosophy as you think. Taoist teaching is also not philosophy as you think. It is a technology, a process like vipassana, samatha. So I, I do point out in that four-part series, seven hours of solid information. We in the United States of America have all this documentary now. If you want to debunk me, make my day anytime. Okay, so why, why I get to this? What right is this that people playing expert to screw the entire Chinese history and screw, screw all the Wing Chuners and make Wing Chuner laugh at? If this is not straightened out, you don't have Wing Chun, you only have bullshit. So you talk about this grandmaster, that grandmaster. Okay, fine. If you want to have your grandmaster art, I respect that. Call that your grandmaster art. Don't call it Wing Chun because this is not Wing Chun. Don't tell me that you have this, like uh, this thing. Don't tell me that you go watch the movie like that and adding this uh, uh, whatever Chinese Kung Fu, like, uh, like Tai Chi or like uh, internal, whatever, whatever, and then uh, you know it all. Sorry, you don't know anything. Because reality has to base on evidence. Okay. So anybody still want to go for South, uh, Northern, uh, what, uh, Southern, uh, Fujian, Shaolin, Mui, Jixin, Wang Chun, Wing Chun? Well, you might as well go debate. Okay, where is Gotham City? Okay. That's how it is. So I share this. And I even proposed to the to the to the uh, to the uh, uh, Asia in the forum. Here on, this is my proposal. Here on, if you do not know how to uh, nurture qi, you don't know how to manage your jing and your qi with the meridian, then you don't know the. Uh, the health part of Wing Chun or Chinese martial arts. If you never train in the anaerobic, you are not a martial artist. You can call yourself, yeah, I am a, a practitioner of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Wing Chun uh, traditional culture or ritual, that's fine. But don't call it Wing Chun Queen, Sifu, because you don't know. And, and, and that's why I proposed to the, the, the Asia in forum and say, why don't we split it off? If you are Sifu for just uh, practicing the, the, the traditional Chinese ritual or your grandmaster ritual, well, that's valid, but don't call it Wing Chun Queen. Because when you call it Wing Chun King, you have to be faced like people like Xi Xiaodong or MMA. Now, if, you, if, if, if we don't even know that uh, in fighting, you have, uh, you have to train in the explosive and uh, speed and endurance. And in recovery, you, be, you need to train, uh, train on the nurture Qi and all those uh, meridian. What do you have anyway? And uh, as what I pointed out yesterday, say what well, when you train here, your blood distribution, your cardiac output is to your internal organ. In the fighting training, your cardiac output is dis distribute distribute to your to your muscle in the big time, and you're running in aerobic. No longer aerobic. If you don't train that, how are you going to fight? 
So as what I shared yesterday, is this Wing Chun? Is this Wing Chun? Well, if you look at that, this type of training is what? It's only very minor here. He doesn't even have the chi, uh, 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 nurture chi type of practice. It's just some here, exercise, very basic exercise. You want to fight people, MMA people, Western boxer people who train here? Like this? You want, to, you want to fight somebody like that? H how can? And if you want to talk about Wing Chun uh, from Shaolin, let me share with you. This training is said clearly here. When you practice fighting, you have to do the maximum strike. You want to practice with maximum strike. You never want to be soft. That is Shaolin. Okay? Like this one is like, this is Kyokshin, but this is like uh, the Wing Chun Chai Kun. This is how it has to be. Not standing there, Chi Sao. In Shaolin's uh, Short Strike Classic, it said that you have to be able to have abdominal breathing and you need to be able to handle your core and be able to take impact. That's Shaolin riding. So if you want to go train this kind of thing, if you don't know this, what are you doing? This is Shaolin. This is what inherit in Wing Chun. And this saying that if you cannot breathe with your lower abs, you don't have strength. So if you want to train this type of stuff, the Chinese call it Chai Kuin, this type of uh, intensity. You need to know this breathing. You need to know your, 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 your low abs breathing. If you want to train for this, then you need to know about how you want to carry out that fight. And all of those is what I mentioned here. It is insane to have those internal stuff, Zhan Zhuang, and that internal power. Have you seen anybody who, 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 who do those kind of things, train, ready for Xi Xiao Dong, or it, it end up like that? Just look at this slow motion. What is that Tai Chi guy do? Well, he know all this internal stuff. Can he take the impact, momentum? Does he have the training? Of course he doesn't have the training. So that's how serious it is. And anybody say that there's no evidence that, uh, that uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin? Sorry, 1850, it is this. This is all from that. So right now, I'm I asking the question back to everybody, every grandmaster. There are three types of uh, uh, training in 1850s Wing Chun. The Nurjua Chi, the circulations, or as today we can call it aerobic base. This is recovery. And this is the endurance and explosive maximum power speed training. Three types. Do you have the body for that training? before you even talk about hand techniques. In the ancient, you need to have this before even you talk about the means of fighting. And the means of fighting is not like this. It's not like this. How can we know? It is right clearly here. This called shoot in. You need to shoot in like over here. The bong sao. This is a wrong bong sao. 
this type of stuff, standing 10 million miles away, you know what you look, you're looking for? You're looking for this guy, bait you with this punch and turn over there, give a round, kick to your head and take you down. Go try it out with the, with the, Western, uh, with, with the Thai boxer or Kyok Shin. See that where you take the hit right away and KO. So what is the real thing? What is the real Bong Sao? This is the real Bong Sao. It tells you already, you need to get close. You get right the win in close. You don't give him a chance. It is a combination. You don't even block his hand. You just roll in, roll, roll in, spin in, strike with the with the uh, with the uh, with the elbow right away in. The next thing is going to shoot him out from his leg. Going going down. Clearly, he'll say. Lean in, roll in. You struck him and put him down. That's how fast it is. You need to know how to handle your internal and abdominal pressure to do that. You need to have the plyometrics handling. So, this is serious. So, you want to be a wing tuner or you want to be an idiot? Keeping talking about Gotham City and Batman or Batman or, or Joker or Robbins. If you're keeping talking that way, who is going to respect you? So, that's why I say, if you want to talk that way, Name it your grandmaster's art. Don't call it Wing Chun. Because you know, what right do you have to, 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 to play expert for Wing Chun when you are not an expert? You have no idea what is going on. And, and Wing Chun is not your, your, your father's property. And also don't call this philosophy that philosophy. Buddhist teaching is not philosophy. Can you get into the samadhi? Taoist teaching also can be able to get the samadhi. Do you have that experience? Do you know what it is? So, so most today, like I share with you, the internal internal is nonsense. The the uh, the the Shaolin. Uh, uh, Fujian and all those are nonsense. Those are making up for past 100 something years with the, with the intentions of just marketing. So that's why, again, I, I, I share with the, everybody in the forum, why don't we just set a, stand, a, a standard? If you want to practice your your, your, your teacher's ritual or tradition of your school, fine, call it that. But don't call it queen, martial arts or Wing Chun queen. That's the reason why you cannot answer to Xi Xiaotong when Xi Xiaotong say this, 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 everybody shut up. Because one don't even understand what is going on. What is real Shaolin? Real Shaolin is written, I, I, so I show you everything there. What Real Shaolin wrote by records, you can equaling with the Zhang Wei Li or Kyok Shin training and uh, Western boxing training, even with uh, parametrics. So, so now people is taking movie, adding this and adding that and call it yeah, Wing Chun this, Wing Chun that, Wing Chun. So, so I, I like to put it this straight. You want to be idiot or you want to be a Wing Chuner? Everybody is uh, free to do that, but Wing Chun is a Chinese culture. It's not up for anybody or even any grandmaster in past 130 years to mess around. That's why I put down the four part series. No grandmaster here on can ever bullshitting. Okay. Hey, 
it is like a Harvard University or Stanford University or Massachusetts State uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology or UC Berkeley. You need to have high standards. You need to have really proper educations there. Not everybody monkey around, bullshitting around, playing expert. Because you're doing that, you are going to screw the mass public. And you're also going to screw that, that culture, that subject. There's a, hey, you know what? If you want to uh, learn to be a, the, 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 the martial art or to be a sifu, number one thing you need to know is that there's a responsibility. When you call that thing Wing Chun, you need to be responsible for that. That's why I praise Bruce Lee. He just throw the mess away. He said, this is land swimming. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to start my own Jet Kune Do. That's why I respect him. And then what happened later on? Because Bruce Lee have a major in philosophy. So that start with all of this philosophy. Buddhist philosophy. Wing Chun philosophy. What Wing Chun philosophy? What Buddhist philosophy? What Taoist philosophy? This because of all this Bruce Lee wannabe. Okay? And now, today's 2022, July 1st, it has already get into so bad that it is nonsense that people laugh at you left and right in the Asia or in the West. You want to continue on? That's why in the four-part series, I, sh I share with everybody, I don't blame anybody because for past 130 years, China is in a chaotic situation. But today is no longer chaotic situations. America is not in a chaotic situation. Europe is not a chaotic situation. Those who live in a chaotic situation, who don't have education, we cannot blame them. We need to help them. We need to pardon them. We, we need to understand them. But in today, you still create all this nonsense without knowing what the heck is going on. What is that? We, we, we just need to be known. What is the truth? So don't call it Wing Chun Kin. Wing Chun Kin is, you need to be able to speak your theory, your, your science, your practice. You don't have to be a champion of the world, but at least you have to get the respect from MMA, from Xi Xiaotong, from Mike Tyson, from, from all other martial arts school. That they know that this is martial arts. It's not at front, I give you face behind and say, you, this is bullshit, man. And you guys, Wing Chun is only good for what? Good for uh, uh, making movie, the, the, the image laundry. That, that's what the Chinese think about behind, their, behind their, their closed door. Do you have respect? Or you get high watching your movie? And then just look into the, uh, in the YouTube, see how many people critics Wing Chun. You want to continue on like that? Internal this and that. And even the internal is nonsense. Chi Chi Guang never fought the Japanese pirate the way how the Chi and all this internal. Have you seen anybody in the, uh, in the history who talk about this in past one, 450 years ever fought the war or even go to Thailand? like Mas Oyama, to even just draw with the, with, the, with the Thai boxer or Western boxer with their so-called internal art, internal chi and all this nonsense, you never can find one. Why? Again, it's a Batman and Gotham City. Okay? This is serious stuff. In one way, you mess up the Chinese culture. On another way, you mislead the people. And you're going to mislead people into dangerous stuff. If you never train in anaerobic, high speed, high VO2 max, how the hell are you going to go fight? That's why when you get up there, your heart start to palpitations and uh, you couldn't even throw a punch. Just look at the MMA UFC. You see there how people get taken down in seconds. 
And those who really can, uh, can fight is, are they really Wing Chun? No. They train BJJ, they train other stuff. They train Western boxing. They train kickboxing. If you ask them to use whatever Wing Chun they learn to go, go up there, you know it's hopeless. So this is the reality. So as in the title of this video, this YouTube, you want to be Wing Chun or you want to be idiot? That's your choice. But sorry, I don't want to be idiot. I'm not the best fighter of the world. But hey, thing has to be based on evidence. Not just talking whatever nonsense one, one wants to talk. When it gets to the culture. Because you're going to school thing up. So why play expert? 